Well, good morning. I uh, never know how to start these things. But good morning. It is a Thursday. Today is Spider-Man Day. Uh, like I said in yesterday's vlog, I have a 7 p.m. showing of the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie tonight. I'll be going with my kids, uh, possibly with Scott the truck driver. We're going to find out in a few short hours if he can make it. Um, really been looking forward to this movie. So there's not a whole else, uh, whole lot else going on today. I am actually going to get a massage uh, very shortly here, so that'll be nice. I haven't had one in a couple of weeks. I'm kind of due. And um, working most of the day. After I'm done with work, I'm going to grab the kids. We're going to go out to a dinner. Not sure where on that yet either. Probably we'll actually shoot some of that. And... Um, and then the movie. But I will do a detailed review, uh, non-spoilery detailed review afterward. I may even do a spoiler review as like a bonus, uh, not a daily vlog, but like a bonus uh, post. So we'll see. Uh, it depends on how I feel as the night goes on. And I may even shoot it tomorrow, who knows. But I will, tomorrow morning, um, have the uh, Spider-Man review for me up and posted. Uh, hopefully that will uh, garner some views. Um, but no rides today, no paddle today, uh, no exercise for that matter at all. I'm going to give my body a chance to rest. My shoulders uh, yesterday and into this morning have been incredibly sore. The kayaking, uh, the excessive amount of kayaking has definitely taken a toll. Uh, I don't, just don't think my body's been adjusted to it. I don't feel anything in my legs from the quick little 10-mile bike ride yesterday, but um, definitely still feeling the shoulders. So I'm going to take today off, try to get out to par uh, tomorrow, depending on the weather, but we'll see. In the meantime... Um, I hope you guys are enjoying what you're seeing so far. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm getting better at the editing process. That's moving a lot faster. Uh, still coming up with content. i got to do some planning, I think, for some future adventures. Maybe some museum hits locally. A little tour of the Syracuse area kind of stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But um, I'll be back in a little bit. This is my chance to prove myself. guys wait a minute you guys aren't the real avengers i can tell hulk gives it away oh that was awesome does liz get a new top no we've seen that before never with that skirt she probably stops staring before it gets creepy though too late. You guys are losers. So to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Just don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a little gray area in there and that's where you operate. Oh. All right. That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. All right, kid. Good luck out there. I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling rough. Listen, I know school sucks. Peter, you still with us? Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you want to save the world, but you're not ready yet. You're the Spider-Man. No, I'm not. I'm not. This is just a costume. This is from the ceiling. Stay close to the ground and stay out of trouble. Forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. I'm sick of him treating me like a kid all the time. But you are a kid. This is my chance to prove myself. Peter, what is going on with you? I'm really sorry. I'm so busy. I'm slammed. Don't mess with me, because I will kill you and everybody you love. Well, I saw it. Just got back from seeing Spider-Man Homecoming. Went and watched it in IMAX uh, with Scott the Truck Driver. And I have got to say, I am absolutely blown away. Uh, as we left the theater, uh, my son kept proclaiming that it was the best Marvel movie to date. I'm not sure if I would say that necessarily. However, they definitely, definitely 
nailed the Spider-Man character. And moreover, more importantly, they nailed Peter Parker. They got him right. Um, they got the teen angst right. They got the boy in an adult superhero world right. Um, probably, other than Loki, uh, Michael Keaton's Vulture is the best bad guy that Marvel slash Sony has put on film yet. Um, I don't want to go into any kind of spoilers, but I will say that you can tell that Marvel had influence in this movie, that they were uh, heavily involved in the scripting of it. Um, th there's a lot of Marvel and Avenger tie-ins in the movie, so they do a good job with that. They make it feel like you're in that universe, uh, for sure, without a shadow of a doubt. In fact, the, the ultimate plot line is based on events from previous uh, Marvel movies. So um, it doesn't do anything necessarily to push the Marvel agenda forward, the, the overarching Avengers stuff forward, uh, however, makes plenty of references to it. So kudos to Marvel and Sony and their collaboration on this movie. They definitely nailed it. Um, you know, the reviews online have been incredibly positive, and it's obvious to see why. Um, also, if you are a moviegoer in this day and age, in 2017, and you are at a Marvel movie, and you walk out at the initial ending of the movie, you are a novice, and you should be ashamed of yourself. I am, I mean, I don't want to say I'm fed up, but it is just shocking to me that people still get up at the end of the movie and walk out. There are two, one, two post-credit scenes in this movie, both completely worthy of staying for. Uh, no spoilers again in that. Just stay. Um, if you're on the fence about the movie, you know, and, you, and you're not even sure if you want to go see it, you know, you definitely have to. Although, you don't need to be into the Marvel stuff if you enjoy Spider-Man movies, uh, but it certainly helps. There's a lot of references to the overarching Avengers stuff in this movie, and if you don't know that stuff... I don't want to say you're lost in the story, but you could definitely be missing out on some wink-wink kind of stuff. Um, one thing I do want to say is that they do a wonderful job of setting up the future for the Spider-Man universe. There's been a lot of conjecture as to whether or not Sony and Marvel have an ongoing deal with Spider-Man. Um, I certainly hope that's the case because this, this is a different movie. If you go back to the Sam Raimi films with Tobey Maguire, uh, it was cool, you know, and it was Spider-Man on film, but as you look back on it and reflect on who the Peter Parker character is, it was off. You know, it was an adult Peter Parker. It was Tobey Maguire, an adult. Uh, Tom Holland, who plays Peter Parker and Spider-Man in Spider-Man Homecoming, as well as the Captain America Civil War movie, um, he feels like a teenager. Uh, maybe not 15, which he's supposed to be in this. He's, he seems a little older than 15. Uh, but still, captures that that energy, the, the wit, the quick wit that Spider-Man and Peter Parker are known for. Um, and the other reference that I continue to hear, as I've seen other reviews, early reviews on the Spider-Man movie, is they really grab that 80s Brat Pack feel. There's a, there's a definite teen angsty 80s movie in fact they make a lot of 80s references in this movie so they, they did that really well um, bottom line if you want to see a Spider-Man movie go see it if you want to see a Marvel movie go see it if you want to just see a funny action filled you know coming of age angsty movie definitely go see it um, if you're worried about them telling you Spider-Man's origin story again and seeing Uncle Ben die again. Um, there's almost none of that in there. There's a couple of quick references, um, but nothing. They're not telling you the Spider-Man origin story again. They are assuming that you already know how Spider-Man gets his powers going into this movie. So at least we've progressed to that point and you, you don't have to feel like you're being told the whole story over again. Additionally, I want to make a point as well some classic characters that are in this are cast in a very different way to make them feel very fresh and very new. So, again, big plus uh, for making this feel like a new, fresh thing. So, 
hats off to Marvel. Hats off to Sony. Um, Sony's obviously going to get the great end of this deal because this money, this movie is going to make a ton of money. So get out and see it. Don't wait. I'm going to go see it again on Saturday. Um, very, very good movie. Looking forward to seeing more. Thank you again for watching the Daily Octane. If you like this video, again, I know this is not uh, what I'm normally going to be doing. Um, all I did today literally was wake up, work, and go to the movies. So I, I really had very little else to show. But if you like my channel, give me a like. Please click subscribe. Um, there's more stuff coming. Got some stuff planned for this weekend. Going to get on the canoe or the kayak, I mean. Going to get on the kayak again. Get on my bike again. Um, Tuesday we had a concert coming up. So there's, a, there's some stuff going on. Uh, I may even do a spoilery review or at least get into some spoilery stuff um, in my next video. But I don't want to do it on this one in case this is found online. Um, thanks for watching the Daily Acting. Have a good night.